everything changed for me when I started to embrace the word yes, and now I'm a teacher of yes. When I say yes to my students, it enables them to be more creative. Um, it engages the students and it brings their um, personal aspects into the project. The students really want to master the content. So the kids don't just pass the test, they've mastered the subject because they're invested. The exciting part about this is that the students have voice and choice and we're collaborating together so it's really fun to be working with your students and bouncing ideas off of each other. I used to plan out lessons without student input. My students did a project where I thought I had made it student-centered but after the students carried out the project I realized that they ended up all basically doing the same thing and I wasn't very happy with the outcome. The students when they had to present were telling me they were just presenting or hearing the same thing over and over during presentations because the constraints that I had put on the project. What I decided to do was just open up the project and have much more student input. Right from the get-go um, I had um, a few students come up and look at it with me and give their input and so they helped me make some tweaks and changes. My student Aubrey was very into this project. She personalized the project by first asking if she could study joints rather than the skeletal system because there was a family history of arthritis. She really mastered the project because it was such a personal project for her. The other students were really engaged because it was so personal. They were learning not only this new information about joints, but they were learning about Aubrey as well. Part of student-centered learning is to relate what you're doing in the classroom to the real world. So I facilitated this project between my human anatomy class and the engineering class, where my students learned about prosthetics and the need for them, and the engineering class built a 3D printed hand to donate to a child in need. I have a partnership with my students. I have a conversation with every single kid every single day. You get to know them on a personal level. I've built strong relationships by breaking down barriers. In my classroom, there's no designated teacher spaces or student spaces. I've tried to make the classroom very comfortable. I'm more excited about coming to school every day because of the work the students are doing. It's more fun for the students and it's more fun for the teachers.